Hey, uh, I think it's afternoon. Good afternoon, folks. Um, we are on a lunch break right now, and um, so far the events of the morning have been pretty smooth, pretty, pretty smooth. Um, there are complaints, however, um, despite it being smooth. What I'd say smooth, I mean without too many hiccups. There was a complaint about one vote where it was in contention and the APNO AFC disagreed with it because apparently the line touched somewhere. Um, so the vote was counted for the People's Progressive Party. The APNO AFC rep present in the room refused to sign the SOR even with that one vote in contention. Um, and that was a correction that was issued. It was resolved by the counting agents and by the GCOM officials in that room. Uh, so I don't know if they trust the order and the conflict resolution mechanism that is in place. Also, um, there are instances where these so-called ministers, I would call them previous ministers of government, are going into rooms and wanting to dictate to some of the GCOM staff in how to conduct their business. Take for example, Valerie Garidolo went into a room this morning and started to object and started to tell the GCOM staff how they should go about doing their work. Even though this is day four, they would have been trained, they would have been um, told how to go about it. Uh, so now we have so-called ministers going into these rooms and wanting to dictate to these people how to, how to go about their, their work. And we are going to address it as it comes along. There is also this issue about people um, going into rooms and asking if this person voted or if that person voted, trying to now establish a residence requirement for voters. Uh, they are saying that some of these people would have migrated. There is no law that says if you would have migrated that you are prohibited from voting in Guyana. If you have migrated, you are still permitted to come and vote in Guyana. That is how the people's... Uh, names are on that list. Uh, there are issues, very, very minor issues that occur here and there, but we are addressing those as they go along. We are still waiting for a meeting with the Commission. Um, yesterday there was a lot of propaganda from the APN UAFC about a whole lot of accusations and hosts. What they had attempted to do is to undermine uh, and try to discredit this process. It is a legitimate process. On voting day, there were no issues, but here we have, at this place, um, an attempt now to want to undermine this process and undermine the integrity of this. Now, there are some illogical questions that would come to, come to the fore. One of them being, if I would have said that I won elections, would I not be so happy to come and prove that I would have won? That is one. The second thing is, would I not come here and support the integrity with which the process was conducted? Because if I undermine the integrity of the process that was conducted here, that would mean that I do not have confidence that I would have won these elections. And those are just some of the issues that we continue to face. Um, there aren't a lot of there aren't a lot of disruptions, but once again, the day is young. We just concluded the morning session. Uh, we just broke for lunch, and now we are going to see what the afternoon session holds. This morning, I walked into the Arthur Chung uh, Conference Center. There was an APNU supporter who disobeyed police instructions. When she was called to be addressed by the police officers, she did not. She continued to argue with them and argue with them. I did not want to stick around to see the end result of that. So I took my pass and I went to go about my business to ensure that everything under my responsibility are actually taken care of. And once again, we are very, very um, conscious about their attempts, uh, not only to undermine the process, the intimidation tactics, such as the ones um, demonstrated by Val Valerie Gurdillo this morning, and other members of the APN UAFC who are going into these places. We also have to remember one thing, the order that was gazetted, uh, Order 60 of 2020, clearly states that you're only allowed one counting agent per station. And the fact that they are at times putting more than one person in those rooms without identifying themselves, without 
anything, any accreditation in this sense, in my view. I don't know if they are, but I have not seen it. I'm going to leave that there. But they are going into these rooms and sitting down there and attempting to intimidate the people that are there representing other parties and attempting to intimidate the the Guyana Elections Commission staff. Uh, this morning, Valerie Guerrillo wanted to change the process to share information, as in when, when the SORs are completed, we have people that are permitted to go and uplift those and bring them back to our tabulation center. In some cases, they're being denied that access, but it is not consistent. I think there has only been one or two so far, but we are going to continue to advocate for the process to be corrected. And so far, as as I have seen, the GCOM staff have conducted themselves with the utmost professionalism. The process is progressing as it should. All of the eyes are there. They have um, they have done their work to the T at this point. And the last thing I wanted to bring up while we're at this halfway juncture is that we have been told by our agents, and we're not hearing it from our agents, but from multiple party agents, that the APNU AFC have been actively lobbying in these counting stations for there to be a five o'clock. They're lobbying other party members. They try to lobby our, our party member for there to be a five o'clock shut-off time. For there to be a five o'clock shut-off time. We know that the events close at seven. So there could only be one thing is that you want to further delay this process. Um, but we are going to be vigilant continuously and we are hopefully going to get resolutions on the small matters outlining. I know it sounds a little bit minuscule, but we want to ensure that these molehills do not grow into mountains of problems that we cannot resolve, right? We are going to keep you updated.